Health trackers, welcome back to another product review. Well, what am I laughing at? That's what we were talking about just before we went on camera. I was telling you my neck is sore and you just started laughing. <laughs> so, what are we doing this week, Ash? Um, you are reviewing your laptop. Oh, look at this beautiful laptop. Nah. So, we're actually going to do, I did this, I think, maybe end of last year, early, very early this year, best battery currently to date on the market and... Back then, that was a hardcore that won. Versus now, I reckon there is a new player in town that has smashed it. So, the one that I'm talking about that I reckon is the best battery on the market at the moment is Lifetimes, 100 amp an hour, brand new. This is brand new from them. Uh, I'm one of the first people in Australia to actually get my hands on one. And the stats on this is crazy. So, for those that have been watching the channel for a fair while, you know that I did a 200 amp hour plus review on a battery for them. And based on that, they wanted my feedback on where they could improve. I told them you needed to make it smaller and you needed to add Bluetooth. I couldn't believe they legitimately took what I had to say on board and they've now brought out a Bluetooth battery that is extremely affordable, which is what they're massively about. And they've just completely shrunk all the cells. They've gone and redeveloped the cells, put in new EV, so these cells can actually go in electric vehicles. So they're a really, really good sell. And in the US where these guys are super popular, there's heaps of electrical engineers that pull these apart and film it on YouTube and show the components and are blown away at how well they're built. So yeah, this is just something that I think is phenomenal. What we're gonna do in this video, we're actually gonna go through and compare the stats with all the big name players in Australia and see why, in my opinion, I reckon it's the best battery in Australia to date. And you won't be able to argue when you see the stats, you'll 100% agree. Uh, I'll put up now for you before we go into that, their Bluetooth app, because I really want to give them a shout out. When I said put Bluetooth in, I thought they may just go get a generic Bluetooth chip and put it in and use that Chinese manufacturer's Bluetooth app, which a lot of other brands do, and there's sort of, sort of Chinese writing left in it, you can tell it's a Chinese app. Where these guys know they've gone and paid somebody to make their own personal app for them, so it stays with their brand with their little sort of cool characters that they use, cartoon characters. And you can just tell it's their app and it's got all the safety features that you want in it. It's got all the data you want in it, all there. It, it's perfect. Their app is absolutely brilliant. And everything these guys seem to do, they do really well. And they've gone with a different sort of design as well. They've gone away with the gloss finish and gone for this really sleek, nice matte finish, which I really like. So shall we get into the comparisons, Ash? Do it. See if Dylan can back up these claims. Is it the best? Let's get into it. Okay, let's get into it. Can Dylan actually prove that this is the best battery on the market or am I full of shit? Full of shit. <laughs> so what we're going to do here with my magic of editing, hopefully I can do it. I'm going to bring up all the competitors, big name competitors and have them sitting here and we'll run through the stats of both. So let's bring up the what, stats. Don't you have them? No, nah, I can't afford them. Too poor. Broke. <laughs> get a real job. <laughs> What, YouTube's not a real job? No. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'll bring up for you now the specs, and I'm just going to sort of go through each one and highlight the key information that you guys need to know on where this beats them, and I'll put ticks and crosses for all of them, where this wins and where it loses. So let's chuck up now the stats for the lie time. So as you can see there, you've got all the stats that I've pulled for you. I'm just going to highlight the main ones. So price, $689.99 is regular retail. Currently, they're doing a sale for $526. If you use my discount code, which is yarns05, I think it is, but I'll have it below, you'll get it for $564 cents at the moment, which is crazy cheap. $500 battery, mental. So let's run through, what is it? It's a 100 amp hour battery. The big difference is that you can use 100%. You can use all 100 amp hours of this battery where there's very few manufacturers that let you do that. And their cycle life, if you do it, is massive. So they will do 4,000 cycles at 100% capacity. If you do 6, 000, if you do 80%, you'll get 6,000 cycles out of it. The usable uh, energy, if you want to convert it to 240 volt with an inverter, is 1,280 watts. Your maximum charging and discharging is 100 amps and 100 amps. So they're the big ones. Also five year, 30 day money back guarantee. So now we'll compare it 
with the big name players. So let's bring in the first one, which is Red Ark. So Red Ark, as you guys know, my common saying is if you buy Red Ark, you got rocks in your head or you got more money than brains because shit, they're pretty much 2,000 bucks, $1,998 versus $500. And they're not even better. So 100 amp hours, they do not disclose anywhere what they recommend the capacity. So I'm gonna assume it's 80, it's not 100, which means you're only getting an 80 amp hour battery for two grand. The maximum AC output, uh, if you wanna plug in an inverter is 1000 watts, which is really funny because they say the continuous discharge is 100 amps, which 100 amps isn't 1000 watts. So either it can't actually do 100 amps or it, or it can do more watts than that. The maximum continuous charge is only 50 amps, so well down from the lifetime, and warranties are only three years as well, which is rubbish for that money. Next one we're gonna look at, let's slide in the inner drive. So again, you're up there in price, 1,198 bucks, 100 amp hours, but you're only gonna be able to use 80 amp hours of that battery, so 80% capacity, which is rubbish. Uh, couldn't find the maximum AC output, but being that it's 100 amps, it means you should be able to do that 1,200 watts. But this is where it gets interesting. With Enerdrive, they're not built for Australia. And again, I'm gonna put my hand up. I was influenced very early on and I bought Enerdrive and set my BT50 up with all Enerdrive stuff. It's unfortunately, it is from China and it's not been built for Australian climate. So all of their specs are built, are basically set at 25 degrees, above 25 degrees they can't let you know what you're gonna get. So at 25 degrees, you're allowed to charge 60 amps, but only for 30 minutes. The discharge, you're allowed to take 100 amps, again, only for 30 minutes at 25 degrees. Once you go above 25 degrees, God knows what this battery can do. So to me, as soon as you see those sort of stats in there saying 25 degrees, walk away from it. It's just not meant for Australia. Up to you if you wanna buy it or not. But at that price, I wouldn't be doing it with those stats. The next one is Victron. These guys are currently really popular in the YouTube market at the moment, and a lot of people are pushing them. Again, if you look at the specs, they shouldn't be. They're another one that, yeah, there's all dodgy stuff going on in there. So they say that you've got, so their price is $948, 100 amp hours, but their weird thing is they're saying you're only getting 100 amp hours at 25 degrees. Once the temperature goes above 25 degrees, your capacity of the battery drops. So when is it ever 25 degrees in Queensland, Ash? Nighttime. Yeah. So during the day, you could end up with a 50 amp hour battery. So really dodgy. The temperatures, again, they're saying that it'll work, for, it'll work in minus 20 to 50 degrees uh, and plus five to, to plus 50, yet, they've got a big thing in there saying that at 25 degrees above that the capacity drops so i'm assuming above 25 degrees same all your charging discharging is just going to drop out at the face of the planet uh and then yeah again you've only got 50 amps for charging and 100 amps for discharging five-year warranty which is pretty good hardcore so this was the one that earlier this year i actually said was the winner again they're still pretty good but you'll see where this is now edged edged in front of them so their price is $769, 100 amp hours, and they'll also give you 100% capacity, but they heavily recommend you stay above, stay at 80, and the cycle life really proves that. So 3,000 cycles if you use 100%, and if you only go to 80, they'll double it. They'll give you 6,000 cycles. So it's really showing they don't want you to do it, and the cells aren't gonna really like it too much versus these ones the cells are 100 percent designed to do it again you're at 50 50 amps charging opposed to 100 and then you got your 100 amps discharge five-year warranty which is pretty good but yeah you guys would have seen there all the ticks and crosses and i'm should be pretty sure that should prove to you guys hands down this is the best battery on the market not only is it the best it's one of the cheapest at 500 bucks in america they're super popular as i said they're huge in america Heaps of the YouTubers have tested them, pulled them apart, and just reckon the whole components are brilliant, so I don't reckon it'll let you down. Let me know if you do have one, if you've had any problems, because as I said, I'm here to give you guys the information, and I wanna know 
if you're finding different things than what I'm finding, but I've had no problems with my lifetime batteries and they're about to bring out the bigger scale version of this, which will be going in our caravan. We're gonna be chucking in two of them. So I can't wait for those to come out. They're coming out sort of around December. So I'll be doing a review on those, hope for you guys as well. But as always, like, comment, subscribe, get around the channel, support it. I do all these reviews for you guys. So please help back and like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.